Good day everyone. Welcome to um, today's episode of Health Clinic. I remain my humble self, Asuka Malaki, a medical laboratory scientist based here in Nigeria. Today I'm going to talk about staph infection. We have been hearing about staphylococcus, in, in, which has been wrongly misunderstood and accused. So today we are going to talk about it. Staphylococcus, which is generally known as star, is a bacteria. This bacteria is present on our skin and nose as a normal flora. About 30% of the population is infected with staph on their skin and nose as a normal flora, which does not cause harm. It doesn't attack their skin, it doesn't attack their nose. It's just there. So how could one contact staph infection? Staph infection can be contacted through person-to-person -person contact. When you get in contact with an infected person or you use an infected person personal item, you can also be affected. Especially when you have an open wound or a skin cut. This, this particular um, bacteria can easily be transferred to you. So that is how it can be transferred from one person to the other. It's, the next question is, is staph a sexually transmitted disease? The answer is no. Staph is not a sexually transmitted disease. But as I told you before, it is present on the skin and nose of an, of an infected person. And that person can transmit it to you if you have maybe during coitus and you have a skin cut. The person can easily transfer it to you so and that is how it can be transferred from one person to the other so is staff treatable staff is very very treatable over the counter drugs they can do it for you but before you go for it make sure you go for laboratory diagnosis when you go for laboratory diagnosis they will isolate the organism know the antibiotic that will be good for you and prescribe it for you and when you take it, it will clear from your system. Don't follow the public that says that staff cannot be treated. It can be treated very, very well and it can be clear from your system. If you notice all these kind of symptoms I have mentioned in this video, please, please, please go for laboratory diagnosis. It is very, very important. If you notice any boil on any, any part of your body, at all, any part of your body, if you notice um, uh, red swelling, on your body which is painful or not painful please go for laboratory diagnosis this will help you to treat stuff and eradicate it from your body so that you will not transfer it to another person so on the final note if you have this kind of symptoms i mentioned here which is a boil in any part of your body red swelling on any part of your body so light is in you, please, please, please try and go for laboratory diagnosis. When you go for laboratory diagnosis, request for blood culture, request for wound swab. If you have wound, urine culture is also necessary so that they will be able to isolate the organisms, know the antibiotics that will be good for you and you will use. These are the way. When you go and but if you begin to buy antibiotic over the counter antibiotics, you are abusing antibiotics, and this can cause resistance in your body, thereby making the organism very difficult to treat. So don't take antibiotic without first of all consulting your medical practitioner, consulting your doctor, or going for a laboratory diagnosis.